Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Amy. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Food Mania Review. Food Mania Review. We're very excited about today's episode. We have a ramen package from Japan. This is a subscription ramen company all the way from Japan. It's called Japan Ramen Box. There's their adorable logo. And I pulled up their website. If you go to japanramenbox.com, it looks like that. And there's some really information, really cool information on their website. It says, uh, these are a bunch of Japanese guys from Tokyo and they love ramen. So they decided to start this company. Did you know that in Japan, there are more than 2000 types of instant ramen? This is a subscription. They start at $19.90, $19.90 a month per box. And depending on your subscription, you'll get four to 12 different types of Japanese exclusive instant ramen a month. And um, they'll send you all different kinds. So they sent us a box to try. So we're really excited. I'm really excited. So, I love ramen, so does she. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is the best. It's just so good. It's not just for college students. Um, let's open it up and then we'll pick uh, a couple to try. Yeah. Ready? Da -da 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 they sent us a note with some of that information. They also have an Instagram and a Facebook. And if you uh, like this, you can hashtag them at Japan Ramen Box. And they pack it in Japanese newspaper. Ooh, there's a cup of noodle. There's a cup of noodle. Um, oh, I wow. don't know what flavor this is because I can't read. There's a lot. Japanese. I'm assuming this is probably the biggest box. Um, Wait, let me see. This looks meaty to me, like. Meaty? Well, it looks like yeah. beef flavored maybe. Um, I think this <laughs> we is, can't read any of it. I think this is like chicken, it looks like. Oh yeah. I think this it is looks a wheat, good. Um, wheat noodle chicken one. Oh my god, these all look good. This looks kind of like a um, like a show you kind of a um, no, no, like a miso rather based sort of ramen. Um, I think this might be like it's cloudy. Medium or like that's like pork maybe. Or yeah, pork. I mean, it doesn't pork. have the meat in it, but we don't know what any of these. <laughs> but they look amazing. Wait, what, wait, what is that? Does that look spicy? No, Let's not necessarily. See. And oh, and here's a bowl one. Here's a bowl too. Ooh. This is like, um, what is that stuff? Beans. <gasps> These look so good. Like the noodles all look so good. This is not your like, um, Maruchan instant ramen. These are like real Japanese instant ramen. All right, let's pick two of these and try them. Let's just pick two that look the most different. Maybe one cup and one package, or one bowl and one package. Okay, mm -hmm. which one? You pick one, I'll pick one. I think this one looks kind of interesting. This one looks really unique too. That one? Because it looks kind of like that's, um, that cloudy broth that you get when you get real yeah. ramen in a restaurant. Mm. Okay, we'll try this one. All right, gonna we're gonna cook these up and we'll be back for the taste test. So we open this one up and this is what it looks like inside. I mean, I. Does that look like pieces of sausage in there? I don't know. I can smell it. Oh, it smells good. It smells kind of sausagey. And we're boiling our water and getting this all set. Mmm. And we had a big party here over Labor Day weekend. And we still have so many sweets mm -hmm. left over. Look, we have like a whole cake that hasn't even been opened yet. Lemon bread. We have Chips and cookies and M&Ms, clones. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's mine. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff in this house. Yeah. M&Ms, donuts. We literally everything is so tempting in this house. It's like it's really bad. I know. Okay, we're gonna cook our ramen. It'll be as you know, just a few minutes it's because it's instant. instant. We'll be right back. Okay, our water is ready. And then Aubrey, do you want to put the um, the brick into the, our pot? And that boiling water in. The brick. Put in the brick. Ah! Just plop it right in. And then we're supposed to just put the um, little packets in as well. Okay. So like, here's the first packet. And it. It smells like... Is it liquid or powder? 
Liquid? Oh. <laughs> no. Let's see. It smells like miso. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's soy. Like soy, a miso yeah. broth. And I think this one is powder. Ah, it's so hot. Oh, your hands are getting hot? Yeah. There's a scissors in the drawer if you want to cut it open. It's right here. Yeah. Bob's like, what the heck's going on right now? You just cut open the whole end, honey. It'll come out more easily. I know, but that's why if you just open the whole thing, you can do it quickly. All right. So now, just give it a little stir. It's looking pretty good. Let's check on this one. It smells really good. All right, okay. so I'm ready. ready. It looks really good. And does it smell good? It does. Can you hear us sniffing? <laughs> I'm just gonna pour it into this awesome bowl that one of my best friends made. Whoa, Whoa. plop. That would've been bad if it fell off the counter. And I think it's good to go. All right, we'll bring it to the table. So there's the bowl. The other one. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. so excited. I'm very excited about this. Mm, this smells really good. Okay. So this is like, has some stuff in it. As you can see the steam is like coming out everywhere. Yeah, give it a little stir. Here we go, ramen. Okay. I'm gonna taste the broth. Cause this looks just like a miso ramen. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Is yours good? Mm hmm Let me try Mine's that good. one. <laughs> So, you know, I always hear, hear it said that you're not supposed to leave your chopsticks sticking out of like a noodle bowl or rice bowl in Asian Why? cultures. The thing I've read is that they say it's, that it's disrespectful because it's something about like funerals. Does anybody in Asia know what I'm talking about? I've always wondered if that's actually true because I'm always careful not to, or is it just gauche? It's just tacky. I'm always careful not to do it because I've heard you're not supposed to as I'm doing it on this video. Oh, this is good too. That one's my favorite. Mm. I like that one better. Switch. And that's what's so cool about this, the Japan ramen box is that you get a variety. So there's something for everyone. All right, I'm gonna try the noodles. It's gonna be hot. They're right? gonna be really hot. Look there. Ah! Then you're gonna do this. Just with chopsticks. Yeah, I, I'm not great with chopsticks, but I've definitely gotten better. It's just like anything, you have to practice. Mm, good. Hot! So hot. I could eat this definitely. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I know. Yes! Like, it's splashing the... everywhere on my, like, it was like splashing. Oh, it's, that's why I gave you a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> this is excellent. It's good. Wait, let me try that thing that, um, where is that thing? That meat piece. I don't know. Oh, we think there's a piece of meat in here. But it's a piece of sausage or something. What's this? Like, did it get lost? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you definitely, if you live in a metro area like we do, Los Angeles or hey, San Francisco or New York, I'm sure you can go to Japanese markets and probably buy some of these. I mean, not every 2,000 kind, but um, but if you don't live in an area like that, it's it's really hard to find these type of items. So if this is something that's up your alley, this is a great way. <laughs> you just slap yourself in the face with a noodle. <laughs> no, I went like this and I was like, what and it just that? fell down. Keep working on it. No, it's like, the noodles are like, it's like, it's hard. My chopsticks are like hard to deal with. Life is so hard for Aubrey. <laughs> it's like, they won't close all the way. You're not doing it right, girlfriend. What do you mean you're not doing it right? She'll figure it out. But I think this is a really cool way to have hot <laughs> this. <laughs> Something like this delivered your front door. I mean, if you don't have access to Japanese markets where you live, it'd be really hard to get this kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. if you really love this type of food, this is this is amazing. I can't wait to try the other ones. I yeah. feel like we're just gonna stay in and eat ramen for the next few days. <laughs> All right, if you wanna check them out, go to japanramenbox.com. You can get a monthly subscription starting at $19.90 and going up to like the bigger boxes for more if you have a bigger family or you're just obsessed 
with instant noodles. We totally give this a thumbs up. So thanks to the guys at Japan Ramen Box for sending us this amazing box of ramen. Yeah. We are in noodle heaven right now and uh, we hope you'll check it out. Please like, subscribe, share, comment so down below. Else I'll comment. <laughs> I'm like, I know there's another one. I can't think of it. Comment down below. Tell us if you're a ramen lover and uh, tell your friends, please share our videos and tell everybody to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy. Mm -hmm. And you've been watching Food Mania. Food Mania review. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta slurp it. That's Japanese style. <laughs>